If you use Project Broadcast landing pages in your business, you want to make sure that the people viewing the page know how to contact you. In addition to making buttons or text areas that contain your phone number and your email where people can click to text you or click to email you, maybe you would like to have a handy little widget where people can send a Facebook message to you. Well, you're in luck. With just a little bit of copy and paste of some code from Facebook, you can add this to your page and all you need to have is a business profile in Facebook. So let's take a look. So I'm in Facebook on just my desktop browser and I need to go to my business profile. You cannot do this from your personal profile. So I can open up my business profile and I need to go to Meta Business Suite. Now I will click on Inbox and in the settings area, go to view all settings. And here you can see there's a section for the chat plugin, which is what we're looking for. You have some options for the customization, for instance, by changing the color and the look of it, the placement. I'm not going into that because I think Facebook does a good job of explaining that to you. And you also, beyond customizing, you can also set up some automations, like um, some, some prompts for specific FAQs that people might have. So those are some areas that you can play around with. But we're focused here in this video just on setting up your chat plugin. So we're going to click on set up right here. And since we're not creating it within one of these websites, just choose standard, just choose right here. And that's going to provide you with HTML code that you can put into any site. So set the language you want, save and continue. And then here you add domains that you want to have this on. For the domain, you can put your PBLP here. But really all Facebook needs to know is that you want to use your plugin on the domain pb-site.com slash p slash. So if you put one specific PBLP here, then actually I found the plugin will work on any PBLP that contains the same code on it. And this is good news because it means that you can use your plugin on multiple pages without having to always come back here to the Meta Business Suite and enter them one by one on this screen. However, this also means that if another PB user gets a hold of your plugin code, um, then your chat plugin will be on their pages too. And that could be a danger because let's say you share a PBLP design with another PB user for their use, um, then if they don't realize that your code for your plugin is on there, then you're gonna end up with their customers messaging you and everyone will be confused. So just make sure that you first delete your plugin code if you ever share your design with another PB user so they don't accidentally end up with that problem. Save and continue and then you just need to copy the code. And now it's time to head back into your PBLP design. So I'm on the edit screen of a project broadcast landing page and I'm going to drag in a code block here, just kind of at the top of the page. And the code block always defaults to saying hello world, but once you click on it, you can edit the HTML, the code that's going to be used. So get rid of that and paste in your new code. And you can see in the code, this part right here is just a, a comment. It, it doesn't do anything code wise. This is just for a human to read to remember why this code is here. This is your messenger chat plugin code. And you can see nothing appears here. And when this page is viewed in real time, it's not gonna actually show anything here at the top. This is just code that is going to produce that messenger icon. And so then once you hit save, you should be able to open up your page and see your chat icon appear. And that's all you have to do. Now it's important to know one thing that happens when you add code to your page. Code blocks do not always work in the design screen. So I can't always see the results of code while I'm here on this screen. As you can see, I put the code there, but there's no chat icon here. Similarly, if I save my design and then look at the review out here in Project Broadcast, this preview, it doesn't always work if you have some code on your page that it doesn't know what to do with, but even if you see a preview, you may not see the chat icon down here. And don't worry about that. This, this is only a preview for your benefit. It's not going to do everything it's supposed to. What matters is what happens if you open up this page, copy this link and open it up. You should then see 
your chat icon. So there you have it. A simple way to add a chat icon to your page to invite people to message you. If you love this idea, then share this video with a friend who would love it too. I'll see you next time.